Hey guys, what's up with you? It's been a, a little while. Um, today I want to focus the uh, the episode on uh, specifically Uniswap V2 um, and uh, what is the contract and what are the implications for you guys as you're providing liquidity. Now before jumping in, I just want to give you a heads up. Some of you have been uh, pinging me about like numbers on Uniswap RI. So Uniswap RI, for those who are not familiar, is a tool that can help you invest into Uniswap. It tells you like it tracks your investments um, with analysis and charts and also find the um, DROI and the returns expecting the return of different uh, Uniswap pools. Now, some of the numbers are uh, getting in late. The reason is that one of the data sources I'm using, the GraphQL Uniswap, uh, is actually um, is actually blocked at the moment. So even if you go on the official Uniswap website, uniswap.info, the info website, you're going to see a banner here, some data on the side that's not been updated. So typically when this happens, it doesn't last too long. So probably come back, check out the site in a, you know, a day or two, should be should be over. Uh, but just in case you find some numbers, mind that this may not be the super, super, uh, you know, real time a as they are usually are. So now let's go into Uniswap V2. So Uniswap V2, um, a couple of weeks ago, uh, Uniswap has been rele uh, released, the Uniswap team has been releasing uh, the new version of the protocol. Now, this is not live on mainnet, but uh, you can whatever, check out the, the smart contract and, and check out it's been deployed on, on, on some of the test nets. And uh, I wanted here to focus not just on specifically the technicalities for developers, but more uh, what's in for you guys as you are liquidity providers. So uh, there are a couple of things here that I found interesting maybe to highlight to you. So one is there are going to be like ERC-20 to ERC-20 pairs, so pools of... Um, you know, uh, pools of tokens where, where today is not, this is not really, this is not really the case yet, only, uh, you know, uh, needs to have Ethereum plus a token. Another thing which is pretty cool is the flash swaps. Uh, so basically, uh, if you're familiar with the concept of flash loans for, uh, from Aave, which is a very native concept of DeFi, uh, basically what that is, is a way to get a essentially a loan without a collateral. The loan only lasts for the uh, time of a single transaction. So you need to initiate the transaction by taking the loan, and then you need to return the loan by the end of the transaction. If this doesn't happen, the transaction will fail, and you only pay the gas. And um, so they will integrate into Uniswap a similar concept, which they call flash swaps. And uh, you're going to be able to do use this, for example, to make arbitrage between probably pools of different tokens. And uh, so that's going to be pretty pretty cool to see. And in terms of quantifying the impact, we need to wait and, and, and see what, what that, you know, how that can be actually, uh, actually used in practice. Then there is a number of other technical improvements, including like... <clears throat> Making using Bob a more robust price oracle, a few other a few other things. Uh, the last thing that is probably impacting whatever the, the community of investors uh, is is the fact that Uniswap will, in terms of the fees. So what they're saying is the the fee will remain with zero point three percent as it is today. Now they have a switch. They're going to have a switch whereby they can direct zero point zero five percent, which is around uh, one sixth uh, of that. To, uh, to the team, right, to the Uniswap team. Uh, and, and so in that case, if once the, that switch is, is turned on, uh, 0.05 will go to the team and, and 0.25 will go to the liquidity providers. And obviously the team will be remunerated to be able to uh, market Uniswap and, and uh, uh, in general, you know, develop it further, uh, pay for grants. And uh, so I, I think it's a very healthy thing to, uh, to f finally create a business model around Uniswap also for the team to, for this to expand. Uh, and by the way, that's very cool to see here. If you go, uh, it's interesting what they say here. So um, if you remember last year, Uniswap generated $1 million worth of uh, fees. Now this year, given just the, the current momentum, we're already on track to hit $5 million. Uh, and, and so they were saying, you know, if the protocol charge was on, Meaning, like the you know the, the cut of the fees will go to Uniswap, uh, the Uniswap team. They will get about 800k, and you know the remaining 4.2 uh, million will, will go to the liquidity provider. So just think about this. You know, one million last year. We're we're targeting five million in fees this year. Uh, very very commendable growth. So this is um, this is it for um, you know what I wanted to say on V2. If you have questions or thoughts, uh, please comment in the video. If you like this type of content, uh, DeFi, Uniswap specifically, subscribe to the channel. Uh, by the way, if you decide to uh, look into Uniswap, 
I, I remember to you, um, remind you, uniswaparai.com. It's it's a you know can be a, a good point of access where you can uh, check out the different yields of the pool, and, and also you know once you have an investment. Uh, see all sort of statistics and charts and, and uh, to understand, you know, how you're, how you're doing, track your investment. By the way, there is also a little Twitter icon here if you, don't, if you, if you want to help other people find, the, you know, Uniswap ROI and, and get started and get to know Uniswap, feel free to, to tweet it. And um, so really to spread a, spread, a, spread a word about this. Okay, great. So um, that's it for, this, for today. Um, you know, stay safe. And until next time, have a great one, guys. Bye.